Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to Deidre Goddess. Um, I want to apologize in advance for my video quality. I was doing some stuff with my phone, and I accidentally deleted the something with the video. So all that beautiful HD video um, is gone, and I don't know how to get it back. Um, so first, we're going to do my weigh-in. I'm a little concerned because all this week I have been going up and up and up. I've really had a bad eating week. Um, I had an out-of-town visitor, oh, shit. and we ate a lot, um, and honestly, I've just been eating a lot. I don't know why. So, today the scale says 204.6. I don't know if you guys saw it, but it said 204.6, which is up about a pound and a half from the last time I did my weigh-in, but it's better than what it had been because all this week it was running about 206, 207. So that's better. Oh, and I got some new glasses. I can see you guys now. Um, let me show you guys what I'm looking like today. Um, this is me. I'm losing a little bit of this gut here. Let me see. I I was showing you guys all my goodies here. My stomach, I still got my drums. It's so fat. That is disgusting. Oh, my gosh. I might get a tummy tuck when this is all over. <laughs> get my sexy back. But I have noticed that my um, muffins on the side, my muffin top, is that what they call it on the side, has gone down quite a bit. I still got my pouch right here. My arms. Still got my wings going. Feeling good. My tush is still the same. Getting a little smaller. My thighs are getting a little smaller. I just feel a lot better. My clothes are all fitting better, and I am definitely feeling thinner. Um, let me go over my measurements really quickly. I'm just going to go over the ones that have changed. Um, right around my breast went down two and a half inches. Underneath my breast went down a half an inch. My belly button went down a half an inch. My upper hip went down an inch, inch and my lower hips went down a half an inch, which is a total of five inches lost. Which is pretty good, pretty good. I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. Um, I'm back doing my Insanity. Um, there was a girl that I was watching her Insanity videos on YouTube, but her account was deleted. Maybe for copyright infringement, don't know, but she's no longer, or her page is no longer there. So I went ahead to the bootleg man and got me um, the Insanity videos. Um, and I realized that after watching the real videos, that her videos were... Um, not snippets, but there were parts of them that were missing. So that's cool. I'm on day six of my insanity. Still doing my fitness blender. Even though I have been eating kind of bad, I have been still doing my five-day workouts. I, I, I get it in workout-wise. Um, for the most part, uh, I've been eating okay. Uh, my problem tends to come towards the evening time when it's dinner time. And like I said, my goddaughter was here visiting, so um, I did cook dinner when she came. We had a we had a little fat girl pig out. We had uh, shrimp fettuccine or shrimp alfredo, whatever it is. Um, we were going to have, let me rephrase it, we were going to have shrimp alfredo, salad, garlic bread, and baked potatoes with everything on it. And when we went to the grocery store, we were hungry, so we're all picking out the stuff that we wanted to eat for dinner. When we got home and made the dinner, we realized this is a fat girl meal. Why do we have all this stuff? So I only ended up eating, uh, I did eat my baked potato. Um, I put Greek yogurt on top and some cheese, and it was delicious. Um, I did eat a little bit of the shrimp alfredo. I really don't care for, oh, excuse me. Alfredo sauces, so I only ate a little bit, and, and I, as I'm getting healthier, for some reason, I'm not really liking shrimp that much. I don't know what it is about, I don't know, something about shrimp has not been sitting well with me the past couple of weeks. I keep trying, but mm, it's not really, it doesn't have that flair it used to have when it was like a cheap food. Um, let me see. Oh, and I did have a little tiny piece of garlic bread. Not too much. I gave my daughter half of my piece. So I didn't eat that much, but um, I have been eating some stuff like, oh my gosh. I have had waffles twice this week. Twice. Just being greedy. I don't know why. I think it's maybe because I've been cutting out all my carbs. I feel like I've been craving carbs. I've been dying for like bread. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> Let me tell you all where that pal probably came from. So I went to go get a phone, and it was at this little Mexican restaurant. We're here in Ohio. I'm from California. I'm used to going to the Mexican stores, getting the Mexican breads, the Mexican candies, the Mexican foods. But they don't really have those here. So I think I got a little carried away when we found the little Mexican store. And we went there and she had the Mexican bread. Oh, my God. Okay, so the first day, I got two pieces. And they're pieces like this, like a loaf. And she sliced it and they're kind of thick. It was, oh, it was the bomb. I ate two pieces. Well, I bought two pieces. I shared it with my daughter. The next day, I went back. I was like, let me get one of them pieces of bread. So I ate it while I was sitting there. I was like, you know, let me get one more. So I ate half of it while I was sitting there. I was like, you know what, let me get one more for my daughter. <laughs> I'm going to take it home for my daughter. And by the time I got in the car, I really felt greedy because over the past couple of days, I'd eaten like three, four pieces of bread. So I did put it in and I gave it to my daughter. I didn't eat the last of that bread, but it was delicious. Oh my God, it made me homesick. We had Mexican candy. But I'm going to have to stay away from the store. As a matter of fact, when I went back there, I told her, I don't sell me any more bread, please. Um, what else have I eaten that I haven't supposed to eat? Um, that's kind of about it. The Mexican bread and the night with my daughter. Uh, I haven't been doing too, too bad. I mean, not bad enough that I can't, I feel guilty. I mean, if I gain two pounds, it's okay. I'll be all right. I've got 40, 50 pounds to go. Two pounds aren't going to kill me. Um, let me see what else, what else, what else. Um... Still doing my affirmations. Still doing my affirmations. That is like the one thing that even keeps my head on straight. Because if it wasn't for the affirmations, with all of this stress that I'm under, um, my relationship, uh, stuff I got going on, I'd be eating like a, a pig normally. I mean, I would have eaten everything out of the refrigerator. Normally, I would have binged myself sick just over um stress 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 but i am really happy to say that things are looking up and i can honestly say that the positive affirmations have really 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 truly been helping they help to keep my mind focused on things other than what i'm actually going through and try to find a way to be more positive every morning when i get up i write down what i what is going to happen to me today um, I write that I'm healthy, I'm eating healthy, I'm physically fit, I love to exercise, I'm a, a professional hairstylist with lots of clients, I've got money overflowing out my ass, and you know, all that good stuff. And I have noticed that it does seem like um, when you think positive, more positive things happen to you. I've always been the type of person that felt like good things happen to everybody except for me. If I try to do the exact same thing they do, it's not going to work for me. So that's probably why it never worked for me because that has always been the attitude that I've had. And I'm really trying now to change that and have a better attitude about my life and about um, things, take better control of the things that happen in my life because really, truly, honestly, I am responsible for the things that um, happen to me. Another good thing, I redid my fit test um, when I started insanity this time compared to the last time I started when I first did insanity when I first did my first fit test it was December the 8th and the I did my second fit test on March the 4th and everything got better um oh I take that back my power jumps I did seven less this time than I did before but everything else I did more of so that was good um, I'm still doing, um, what I've done with my, cause I am still doing my sit up challenge. What I'm doing is, um, I do 20 squats, 20 push ups, 20 squats, 20 squats, 20 push ups, 20 squats, then 20 push ups. After that, I do my, um, 100 sit ups and I do 20 of this kind, 20 of that kind, five, Five sets of 20 different sets for a total of 100. And then I put my weight gloves on. Actually, usually they're already on. And I do 100 punches, 100 hooks, 100 uppercuts, and 100 crosses to help keep my arms and stuff. My shoulders are getting... I, I, I wish you guys could touch them. It's so weird because when I move, they're so hard. 
I never, I mean, I don't know. They might have been hard before, but I, I mean, they weren't hard when I first started. But when I was losing weight last time, but that's the one place I really noticed. My arms are really feeling. Hope I don't look manly. You know, it's so funny because that's the one thing I'm worried about is looking manly. So I'm, that's another reason why I'm really trying to push my um, aerobics up more because I noticed that my bulk is coming right here. And you know, you see those girls that just look kind of manly. I don't want to look manly. I want to look sexy. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Wish my boyfriend thought I was sexy with his punk ass. Did I say that out loud? I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, it's so funny because everybody is noticing that I'm losing weight. And he hasn't said a word. Even when I tell him, babe, I lost a couple pounds. It's all good for you. You know, and then, again, with my eating thing, he doesn't understand it. He thinks it's weird. He could really care less. And it would be really, really nice if he would say, you know, you're looking nice today. Or, you know, anything. You look like you dropped a couple pounds. But, luckily for me, I've been doing my affirmations. And I understand that I am losing this weight for myself and not for anybody else. So technically, I really don't need anybody's confirmation that I'm losing weight because every time I put my clothes on, I can see it for myself. And please believe, by the time the summer gets here, if we're still together, he's definitely going to know that I've lost weight because I'm going to show it. I, You know what? Oh, you know, really quickly, really quickly. I'm sorry, this video is going to be long. I'm going to do about a 20-minute video. So I've seen a lot of people doing videos about the things that they're not going to miss when they lose weight. The top 10. So I would like to do um, some of those. I, I don't have them written down, but I have a couple of right off my head. So, number one, I like to wear back out shirts and tank tops and stuff and sh shirts. I can't wait to lose weight so that I look great in my tank tops. I want to have like a nice back and I want to have it lay flat on my back without a bunch of rolls. I don't want it, a muffin top coming at my shirt. I want to be able to put on a halter top and look cute in my halter top. Number two, my thighs. My thighs rub together. They've got dimples and dimples and pimples and oh, they're just jiggly. And I can't wait for my thighs to go down and not rub together so I can put on a pair of shorts and be cute. Another thing, number three, I got to keep track. I like to wear heels, but as a big girl, my ankles hurt when I wear heels. I put the heels on, and if I'm not going somewhere to sit down, I really don't wear them that often because it makes my ankles hurt. I've got a pair of boots that I cannot wait to rock, and by next winter, I will be rocking those boots, and they're cute, and they're stilettos. They're, they're cute, too, but I got to lose some weight so they don't feel shaky. Um, what else? Um, number that was number three number four number four is I just I want to be able to shop like everybody else first of all I'm in Springfield Ohio so our clothes selection is very small so I would like to be able to fit in that very small selection because the plus size sections here are mumu dresses and ugly colored shirts all the same and I don't understand why do big girls get the ugly clothes I just really truly don't understand why can't we get the exact same clothes, just add a little bit more material? I'll pay five extra dollars, six extra dollars. Why do we have to get the mumus, the shamu dresses, the flower stuff? And why would you guys put stripes on big girl clothes? Come on now. If you're going to put a stripe on it, can you make it go down? As a matter of fact, can you make them curve in so we look smaller? I mean, really, you're going to put big ass zebra stripes across us? We already look like animals and... Oh. So, that would be like number four and number five. Uh, number five, I like to dance. I like to go out and I like to have fun. Even though as a big girl, I've always danced. But I think I would look a lot cuter doing my snake. And my dance is... What y'all know, know, know about that? Oh, oh. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, see, y'all don't know nothing about that. That's that old school shit right there. But I would look much better doing it without my arms flipping. And flipping. Oh, number six, my arms. I can't wait to get rid of my arms. Number seven, my stomach. I I, I can't wait to, till it's gone. Um, let me see. I think that's about it. Um, 
I'm pretty comfortable in my size. I'm really not that that big. I mean, I am, but I'm not. I'm considered obese by the medical community. Um, in my black neighborhood, I'm thick with it. <laughs> Although I'm a little bit too thick with it. And honestly, I'm really comfortable with my shape. I just would like to tone everything up and bring everything together. I'm 40 years old. I do not want to be 50 years old tugging around a whole bunch of extra weight with health problems, medical issues, and all that. I just want to be healthy and fit. It's not for anybody other than myself and my children. I want to be a good example for my children. I have uh, I have my son. He used to be overweight, and with his own personal motivation, he's lost weight and got himself together. I have a, a younger daughter, uh, well, a middle daughter, and she's overweight. I'm trying really hard to encourage her to understand what she's eating and why she's eating it to help her get herself. She's only 20. You know, just like I told her, you don't want to be 40 like me trying to lose an extra 100 pounds when you can do it now while you're young and it'll come off nice and easy. It'll teach you good habits that you can carry on with you for the rest of your life. Because again, this is not a diet. This is a weight loss management. It is life long. You're always going to have to watch what you eat. You're going to always have to drink your water and you're always going to have to exercise. Um, and it's just something honestly that we should have been taught as kids as part of our lifestyle, not as something that you choose to do, something that you have to do. There are people in other countries that teach their kids. I think it was um, something I was watching in China or Japan. They teach their kids the importance of eating vegetables on TV and school. So kids don't think of vegetables as ooh, yucky, yucky. They think of Oh, vegetables. You know, we need to teach our kids the importance of being healthy and being fit. It would, our medical, uh, what, is it, what do they call it? Um, our, um, the Obamacare and all of our, this medical stuff that, you know, we all, uh, Americans are sick and unhealthy. We have all these doctor bills and all these health issues. It is because of what you eat. I can't say it enough. You can look it up anywhere. Ugh, autism, arthritis, asthma, eczema, high blood pressure, hypertension, diabetes. Um, all of these things are caused by what we eat. The poisons that we're putting in our food. If you go pick up any box food out of the middle aisles of your local grocery store, and read the ingredients, the words that you cannot pronounce and you've never seen before that you don't have in your kitchen. When you cook your food, you don't put these ingredients in. Those are the things that are making you fat. Those are the things that are giving you high blood pressure, hypertension, arthritis, uh, dementia. All of these things, cancer, a lot of these things are coming from the foods that you eat. What goes in is what comes out. If you're fat on the outside, you're putting junk on the inside. That's it. That's all. Your outer body is a reflection of your inner body. If your inner body is nice and healthy, your outer body will look nice and healthy. That's it. That's all. You have nice skin, nice hair, nice nails. You'll be physically fit. It is what you're putting in your body that is making you fat. It is not the fat that is making you fat. If you eat healthy, good quality fat, you are going to lose weight. Stop eating the trans fat, the hydrogenated fats, the man-made fats, and eat some good quality healthy fat. You'll feel great. Stop with the sugar. The white sugar is making you fat. Look it up. Sugar makes you fat, not fat. Our ancestors have been eating fat since we can remember. As soon as we got the low fat boom, that's when everybody got fat. The no sugar, the fake sugars, the lights, that's what's making us fat. Eat quality, healthy food. As fresh as possible. As fresh as possible. You'll lose weight instantly. Promise you. Promise you. Um, what else? And another thing, just like I tell my daughter, the packaged foods, it's not okay to eat the packaged food. It is okay to eat that meal. If you go home and cook it yourself, take, for example, frozen 
lasagna. They put all kind of shit in there to make it look good, smell good, taste good, because it's crap. It's not even real food. But if you go to the grocery store and buy those ingredients yourself, you can make you a fresh, healthy, delicious lasagna. Don't feel guilty about it because you know what you're putting in it. And it'll be delicious. It'll taste much better than that flash frozen, put in the microwave oven bullshit that they feed us and tell us that's food. That shit in the middle aisles is not food. It is made in factories and, and laboratories and add this chemical to see if you can cover up that chemical taste. And it's not real food. It's not real food. Eating is not making us fat. Buying prepackaged, non-real food is making us fat. And that's going to be the end of my tangent on that because I can go on forever. Eat you some good quality fats, get rid of the sugar, and eat you some whole fresh food and see what happens. And get you 30 to an hour worth of exercise. Six times a week would probably be good, but start off with three or four and work your way up and you will lose weight. Even my weight is coming off slowly. I mean, and I'm an impatient, but I know that the slower it comes off, the more likely it'll stay off. So I'm comfortable with my weight loss so far. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I think there's two of you guys, Reggie and Alonzo, <laughs> quiet shout out. Oh, you guys hit up Reggie Push on YouTube. That's my dude. That's my dude. Hit him up. Watch his videos. I'm um, repping San Diego. Um, what's up, Reggie? <laughs> uh, and I will get with you guys in about a week or so to give you guys another update in case something else comes up. Um, I will hit you guys up before then. Love you guys. Mwah. Peace out. Stay strong. Don't give up. And keep it up, ladies. Keep it up.